Welcome back to Health Matters. I'm joined by chiropractic doctor Wendy Smith, and we're going to take a look at mobile therapy. Welcome, Dr. Wendy. Well, thank you. Thanks for being here. It's great to be here. Mobile therapy, this is a unique business model. Tell us about it. Okay, um, basically I provide my services mm -hmm. at the person's place of um, work mm -hmm. or their home. Okay, so you, what areas do you service? Right now I'm mostly in Oakville, but mm -hmm. I also service Burlington, uh, parts of Mississauga and Milton. Mm -hmm. So how does, I mean, how does that work? You're going into people's homes, you're bringing like... An I entire... bring everything with me. Yeah. So you have an entire clinic yes. packed into your car. Packed into my car. So I have a table, um, I have all my acupuncture supplies, all my machines like ultrasound, electrical stem, mm -hmm. etc. cetera. Yeah. That's really, I mean, what a great service that you're providing. I mean, it's like kind of back in the day when doctors did house calls, mm -hmm. right? But I, I would imagine, do you like find like there might be boundary issues with patients because I mean, you're such a nice person that they'd want you to stay for the whole day and have tea with. Like yeah. in a clinic, it's different, you know, because it's more regimented than it would be going to someone else's home. So do you find that, that, you know, your patients want you to stay there all day? Yes. <laughs> yes. They all offer me a drink. They're all very nice. <laughs> I have to go now. <laughs> no, they're 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 good. They understand though. If you have to go on to the next person, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's great for seniors, um, and they're the ones that like to talk as well. A yeah. Lot, so you have to kind of watch your time. But yeah. uh, I know this past winter it's been very bad. A right. lot of seniors couldn't get out. The buses uh -huh. don't want to go by their mm -hmm. homes, so they're afraid to go out and fall. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So I had several seniors mm -hmm. and uh, moms with kids. Oh, you that's know, fantastic. Several, several kids, they say, oh, now I don't have to pack everybody up and sure. ship them that's, off with me. So yeah. That's great for moms. Now, what type of therapies do you offer your patients? I do a lot of things. So I'm a chiropractor. I do different techniques with chiropractic. Mm -hmm. So I do regular adjusting with my hands. I have tools that I use. I also do uh, cranial sacral, which is an osteopathic technique. Mm -hmm. um, I also do acupuncture and twina, which is a Chinese massage. Mm -hmm. And I use physiotherapy modalities. So I do use machines like mm -hmm. ultrasound, electrical stim, uh, laser. Uh, what else do I do? And I also do brain training. Mm -hmm. So that's a specialty type of thing that is geared to people that want to improve their brain function. Interesting. So I see you brought some some balls. Yes. <laughs> so one one of the uh, techniques I yeah. use, all my techniques for brain integration or brain training are activity based. Okay. So it's not supplement based mm -hmm. or you know putting electrodes on the brain because yeah. uh, those all work. But this mm -hmm. is different. This so is activity based. So there's a technique called Bal of his X okay. developed by a teacher in the states, and it's. Uh, rhythmic bouncing of balls or throwing of bean bags in different patterns either by yourself or in pairs or in groups mm -hmm. and it just gets both sides of the brain to work together so it sure. integrates the eyes the ears cuz mm -hmm. these make a noise and uh, tactile and you stand on a balance board so you've got your vestibular as well so it coordinates all those kinesthetic awareness kinesthetic well. yeah everything yeah. Um, and goes through the thalamus, thalamus processes, and then the two sides of the brain have to start working better. Oh. So it helps it helps kids with ADD, autism. That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. So what type of population would benefit? I'm sure anyone, everyone would well, benefit anyone, from yeah. brain training. I mean, you know, we could all use more brain power, but what are the types of people that you usually work with? You know what? Anyone. I would. I kind of played with it a bit. I play the piano, so I'd sit down and I'd bounce the balls first, sit down and play, and it was so much easier. And then once I started getting really? a little bit, oh, I'm missing. Then I get up, do the ball bouncing, and then again sit down, and it was easy again. So it just it allows things to be easier, to flow yeah. easier. But it's also used for things like post-traumatic stress syndrome. Where, How does it work for that? Um, like what the would neurology, be the, you want to know? Yeah, what? I mean, because I can see how there'd be um, uh, a hemisphere coherence between the two brains. Yes, that's what right? happens. Like so, there's an inner uh, uh, harmonics happening. And that's the and that's the guy that developed this. He's yeah. like, there's something with the rhythm. Yeah. There's a certain cadence. And he had two kids. One was four. One was I think five or six in two different parts of the states and they both were doing a three ball bounce and their cadence was exactly the same. Different sizes but their cadence was the same. So he says there's you, something what, to the rhythm. What do you mean by our cadence for uh, the speed, Like the, the rhythm, like okay. the speed at which it's done. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm sure he's still looking into the research on mm -hmm. that but when you, I do neurosensory integration as well. And what when is you, that? That's a big word. Neurosensory integration is taking a look at um, the primitive reflexes that are 
genetically programmed into our nervous system mm -hmm. for our survival. Okay. And like fight or flight? Uh, in a sense, but there are certain things like when a mother touches a baby's cheek, mm -hmm. you know, the baby goes towards that. Um, when something's put in the hand, the baby will bring the okay. hand to the mouth, the mouth will open. I see. So there's one reflex, that one, uh, the Babkin pommel mental mm -hmm. reflex, that when you touch it, and that's what happens when you do the balls, mm -hmm. is that the mouth opens, which rotates sphenoid, and this is where the cranial stuff comes, rotates sphenoid, you rotate sphenoid, you milk the pituitary gland. So you're getting the release of those neural hormones, right? Wow. Those neurotransmitters. So, um, so it is a very calming, mm -hmm. sedative type mm -hmm. of thing you can do, but you have to practice it. Mm -hmm. And the more you practice, the more it comes on quicker. Mm -hmm. So with post-traumatic stress, if you try, or a kid that's learning something new, like say in the classroom, they want to learn a new activity, but they have anxiety about that, or they're taking a test and they have anxiety about the test. Mm -hmm. You can do these type of techniques mm -hmm. and it'll lower your stress because you're coordinating the brain, but you're also causing a release of these calming, sure. you know, feel-good hormones. Mm -hmm. yeah. So is it the endorphins that are being yeah. released? Yeah. Right, and then they can study better? Yeah, everything is, because they're at a heightened awareness, right? And they're, they're not functioning at that, right. they're too, so you bring them down so they, can function better. Wow, this is great for parents and, yeah, and their children. Yeah, it's great for anyone. It's great sure. for people's golf game. They say it knocks 10 points off your golf game, too. So. <laughs> and you do this for yourself, you were saying. Yes, I was, yeah. I was yeah, trying yeah. to see how it So works. how do you integrate everything? I mean, you've got a lot going on. I mean, it's amazing. You have chiro, acu, brain training. How do you know which therapy to use on your client? It depends what they come in with, what I don't, you know, after taking the history and, and kind of deciding what is most, I don't know, pressing. Sure. And then you give them options and they can decide what they want to do. Some things require a lot more work on their part mm -hmm. and they may be, okay, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. Others want more the hands-on. Yeah. So it depends. Like yeah. the brain training, you can leave them with the juggling balls and teach them Yeah, I can leave technique. them and, and then I just maybe see them a week, two weeks, etc., and just keep changing it up and, and mm -hmm. pushing the envelope, yeah. Wow. Nice. Dr. Wendy Smith, thank you very much for joining us today at Health Matters, and please come again. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no, my pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you very much for educating us. Wow, you do so much. <laughs> thank you. We'll be back more on Health Matters. Come on back. Did you know that a single ounce of Brazil nuts has seven times the daily value of selenium? The mineral boosts the immune system and helps the thyroid gland, a nut to consider adding to your diet.